Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Lenas. You are now watching More Than 20 Days to Jam, a series containing more than 20 episodes which covers all the topics in Jam syllabus. Each episode comprises detailed class, questions, and homework. The questions and homework are from the Flash Lenas Jam application. This makes the app a requirement for this class. Visit Google Play Store or flashlearners.com to get the app. Do you have trust issues? Reach me on any of my social handles for activation guide or inquiries. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. This is episode number 58 of the 120 Days to Jam Use of English with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at rhymes. When are words said to rhyme? The concept of rhyme is a very interesting one. Words are said to rhyme if they sound the same or they possess the same ending sound. Ending sound. When we talk about sound, what do we mean? We mean the vowel sounds. Earlier in oral English, we explained that oral English is the English department that deals with how sounds are produced. There are 26 letters in the English alphabet. These letters, they combine or they give us 44 different sounds. And the 44 sounds are classified as vowels and consonants. 20 vowel sounds and 24 consonant sounds. Sounds are different from letters. In the sense that the vowel letters are A, E, I, O, and U, where the other letters are consonants. Now, the five vowel letters combine to give us 20 sounds. Anytime you see letters in between two slashes, they are no longer letters, they are sounds. We treat them as such. As a revision, let's take a look at the 20 vowel sounds. The first is the A sound. A. That sound you are seeing is A, as in say, shape, and chip. We have the A sound, A. Example, pain. We have the A sound. An example is ant. We have the A sound, as in duck. We have the A sound, as in halt. We have the O sound, as in Gold, showed, cold. We have the R sound as in teacher, for light, mother. We have the E sound as in seat. We have the R sound as in for, walk, so. We have the O sound as in food. We have the R sound as in ah. We have the R sound as in girl, Ali. We have the ear sound as in near, here. We have the A sound as in day, rain. We have the ua sound, ua, as in mature, pure, poor. We have the oi sound as in toy. Then the o sound as in go. Air sound as in hair, where. We have the I sound as in buy. And we have the ow sound as in cow. These are the vowel sounds. And for the consonant sound, we have the pa sound pa, pa, as in pain. Ba sound pa, as in bat. Kiti, kiti sound as in ten, walked. The ED in walked produces the T sound, not D sound. We have the DA, DA as in dog, CH, CH as in chicken, CHA, CHA as in June, K, K as in can, G, G as in go. The FU sound as in photo, the V sound as in both and OF. OF is OF, not F, doesn't have the F sound. It is a V sound. We have the full sound 
the Tita son. We have the the son, as in that, then Tita, thing, month, through, brother, has the the son. We have the s, s as in seed, then we have the z sound as in zebra, she sound as in shoot, pressure, ocean. The c in ocean gives us the she sound, and the ss in pressure gives us the she sound. Then we have the z sound as in zera, vision. We have the um sound as in make, home. Um sound as in night, dinner. The ong sound as in uncle, sting, younger. The ha ha as in hot, who. We have the l o as in like, all, like. The raw sound, right, wrong. The war sound, way, one. And the j sound, yeah. These are the consonant sounds. Now, in rhymes, we focus on the vowels. So when words sound the same, or they have the same ending sound, they are said to rhyme. A good background for this topic is you following my vowels, consonants, and stress class. They will enable you or they will aid you in understanding rhymes. Let's look at examples. Be and they. Be and they. You see that they contain the same sound. They sound the same. Therefore, they rhyme. Gap and cap. You see the ah sound. Ah, ah, gap, cap, ah, cap. They sound the same. Therefore, they rhyme. Few and view. In fact, view. You see the oo oo sound. They possess the same ending sound. Therefore, they rhyme. Ending and bending. Bending. They contain the same a sound. The same ending sound. Therefore, they rhyme. You can see that the criteria for rhyme is very very easy. And this is how the next episode will go. We start answering jam questions under rhymes. We we'll look at the question and we see the option. We we'll transcribe all the options to see the sound that they contain. And we we'll pick out the ones that rhyme. Episode 58, which is this episode, 67, 73, 76, 82, and 115 shall focus on rhymes. Which means if your aim is to understand rhymes, after this, go straight to 67. After that, go to 73, and so on. Ladies and gentlemen, see you in the next episode. And for your assignment, open your Flash Tenant Jam application and start playing with questions.